I'm back from a little trip to Michigan. I went to visit some friends and family over there. And y'all, I did so much antiquing and thrifting. <laughs> my friends and family know me extremely well. So basically, as soon as I got there, it was like antique mall, antique mall, thrift store, antique mall, thrift store. We did so much shopping. It was so much fun. And I found so many unique pieces. So I cannot wait to share them with you all. Let's get started right away because we have a lot to get through. So we'll go through the woven pieces first. I found this cute little basket at an antique mall it's really similar to some that i had found on facebook marketplace years ago so i thought it would be really cute to add to my little collection i also like that this part is flat so if i were to find other ones in the future i can kind of stack them up but y'all know i love aesthetic storage containers so i couldn't pass up a little basket the next is this cute little woven tray this one was from a thrift store and it was 4.99 such a good price it has this little glass on here i'm not sure yet if i'm going to keep it on there i might just in case i want to like burn some candles on it or anything like that that way the wax doesn't damage the basket but i can also easily remove the glass and just leave the basket as is but i thought it was so cute i love the little handles and it would be perfect for a little centerpiece for my coffee table or maybe as part of the decor in my cabinets but i just thought it was so pretty and i love this color kind of like dusty brown color so i just thought it was so pretty the next piece i'm so excited about i think i mentioned in my previous antiquing video that one of the pieces that i've been wanting for a really long time are those like wicker woven bottles but they are so expensive here in Nashville every single time I find one it's 50 plus and I just could not bring myself to pay that much for a woven like wicker bottle but I finally found one and I thought it was so beautiful I found this one at an antique store in Saga Tuck and it was still pricey I think I paid like 30 bucks for it but I had never seen it below 50 so as soon as I saw that it was 30 dollars I'm like I'm just gonna take it I've never ever ever encountered Counted one for less than $50 here in Nashville so I was like I'm gonna risk it <laughs> but I just love it I love the color of it as well I think some of the other ones I had seen were much darker but I like this kind of lighter almost a little bit orangey tone it's so pretty so I will consider this the beginning to my collection I still would want at least one more I like to style things in pairs or in triplets so I would at least want one more either a smaller one to go next to it or a bigger one to go behind it but I finally have one so I'm very excited <laughs> okay next we're moving on to mirrors i actually got quite a few of them i feel like this always happens to me when i'm antiquing or thrifting like a lot that i find multiples of the same kind of like style or piece which i personally don't mind because if i really like something like i'm just gonna get it i don't care if i have another very similar piece but let me show you the ones i got and i'll show you in the order that i found them so you can kind of see my rationale for buying each of these <laughs> but the first one that i found is this one here this one was 5.99 at a thrift store and and I think it's supposed to be a little tray because it has the little feet on either side But I also think it would look cute just like standing up like this, but it is so pretty. I love the detailing I think it's supposed to be like silver or like silver plated. I'm not really sure It is a little bit rusted, but I actually love how that looks So i'm not gonna try to like buff it out or anything But I just thought it was so pretty like can't you picture it with like a couple of bottles of like nice skincare Or your jewelry pieces. I think it would look so pretty and if not also kind of standing up like this as well so first i found that one and i thought it was so cute and then i found this piece which i almost didn't get because it was 26.99 i think 27 bucks and i was like i don't know i literally just bought that other one for like six bucks so i i don't know if i should get this one too but i just thought it was so beautiful and it is very different to the other one but this is her right here so it's a longer rectangular one i'm sorry you can see my ceiling but it is what it is <laughs> there's my light <laughs> but this is such a gorgeous piece it has a slightly different tone to the other one i think the other one is definitely more like silver this one's leaning a little bit gold but it is so gorgeous again the detailing on it is beautiful and this one i found at an antique mall in ann arbor but yeah it is so stunning this one is definitely meant to be a tray it has the little feet on the bottom but i think i could probably get away with hanging it as well if i remove that part and maybe add some hanging pieces but it is such a stunning piece i could not i could not not buy it and at that same antique mall i found this cute little mirror i think what drew me to it so much besides obviously the really pretty border is these cute 
little feet at the bottom i just thought it was so cute this one is definitely more like silver and it has a back for standing and also a little hook for hanging so so i might put this one on my desk i know i have that other little black one but i might move the black one to my bathroom and then put this one on my desk i just thought it was so stunning i had to get it and it was only 15 bucks but you know for an antique mall it's pretty affordable <laughs> and the last piece i wasn't like super sure about but i'm like i'd rather get it and not regret it <laughs> and i was also unsure because like i already had gotten those other mirrors so i didn't know if i should get another one but i ended up getting it because it was 6.99 at the thrift store and i think my sister had a discount as well and it's this mirror tray right here i just love the twisted edges the little heart details i just think it's really pretty i also thought this kind of like faux distress look was kind of cool so i just thought it was very unique and i didn't want to pass it up especially for so cheap so i haven't decided yet like where i'm going to put this or if i will use it it's definitely not meant to be a tray like the others this one's definitely like a hanging mirror so i'll play around with it and see but i figured if i can't find a place for it then i can probably sell it and honestly i'm just so glad that none of those broke in my suitcase i was really really worried about that we did have one casualty though so i'll share that with you later now this piece is not exactly mirrored but i figured it could go in the same little category and it's this cute little mercury glass box i got it for two dollars at a thrift store it's so pretty it does have some type of like sketching on it you can't see it on the bottom as much as the top but it's the same kind of pattern once again y'all know i love a good storage piece so i think i'm gonna put this on my desk i just thought it was so stinking cute i like that it's not completely opaque but it's not completely see-through so i can still kind of hide things in it but some of the stuff will still kind of peek through but yeah it's just such a pretty little box and since we're talking about glass let's also do the milk glass pieces i've never actually owned any milk glass pieces before but i've been wanting to add a little bit more white to brighten up the space especially now for the spring and the summer so i figured what better way to do that than by adding a little bit of milk glass and i like the milk glass specifically because it's kind of like the mercury glass little box where it's not completely opaque it is but it still kind of lets some light through so i just think it looks so pretty so first i found this vase at a thrift store actually and i thought it was so stunning this was 8.99 at the thrift store so such a good deal and it's such a beautiful piece y'all know i love a little scallop moment so i thought it was perfect i think i'm going to put these in my cabinets i want to style them for the spring and summer so i think this will look really nice there and another milk glass piece that i found is this gorgeous lamp this was ten dollars at a thrift store i just need to buy a lampshade for it so i'm thinking i'll probably do like an empire style maybe a pleated one but it is so beautiful i could not say no to it i love this kind of almost twisted style it has and this little platform at the bottom i even feel like you could probably put like your rings and earrings here at the bottom but i probably won't do that but i just thought it was so beautiful for ten dollars i could not say no to this and again i'm glad that this one survived the trip because i was really worried about it and the next piece unfortunately was our one and only casualty this beautiful milk glass piece so a little piece broke there it was actually super well like bubble wrapped and covered with like clothes and stuff but this is so delicate that i think that it just kind of snapped right there at the corner rest assured i'm still going to use it i have the little pieces that broke off saved so i am gonna try and glue it back together i just thought it was such a stunning piece i was thinking i could use it kind of like a little planter so just add some soil and some cute little plants there or succulents in the middle but it is such a beautiful piece so i'm really sad that it got broken but i will definitely do my best to fix it and this piece actually has kind of a crazy story because we went to this antique store and this was in a glass case so i had to ask the store owner to open it up for me all the milk glass was 50 percent off so i was like oh great so normally it was like 14 dollars, i think and so it would be seven dollars so normally like i don't like to bother like going through the whole process of asking the person open the case for you and grab the piece blah 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 but i was like for seven bucks i can't say no to that so i did and then the owner was like oh actually we're gonna be closing our store soon so everything is negotiable so that brings in my next dream piece that i found which is this little dog nutcracker so i had first seen it at the store and it was 135 dollars i think and i've been wanting one for a very long time but they're always so expensive so my sister was like oh what would be the cheapest that you'd be willing to pay for a like a dog nutcracker like that and i was like i mean ideally like 50 bucks is the most that i would want to pay but but they're always like 130 something 
and over. So my sister was like, yeah, like that's never gonna happen. And I was like, yeah, well, I can dream, right? <laughs> so when I was talking to the man about negotiating prices for the other pieces since they were closing, I asked him about the dog Nutcracker and he's like, oh yeah, I'll give it to you for 35 bucks. I was like, <gasps> I felt like we were robbing the place. <laughs> so I ended up getting my little dog Nutcracker. My sister got this really cute little clown juicer that they also negotiated for 30 bucks from like 75 and the milk glass planter thing for like 60 bucks. <laughs> so they ended up giving us a huge discount. But anyways, here is my beautiful little dog Nutcracker. I am obsessed with it. The owner of the store was telling me that this one is really old. I don't really know much about them, but he said that this one's probably from the 1800s because it doesn't have like a huge seam that more of the modern replicas have. But look how freaking cute. And y'all know I love dogs, so I'm obsessed. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, but I have to display it somewhere because it's so cute. Okay, and now we will move on to stoneware pieces. So I found this cute little stoneware basket for $3.99 at a thrift store. It would be really cute for decorating, but I think I'm going to put it in our kitchen to put our fruits in. Next, I got this croc. Y'all know crocs could be so expensive. This one was only $10 though, which I thought was a pretty good deal. And I just love the size of it. I don't have any this size. I thought it would be so cute as a little planter now for the spring in summer and i also love this color it's kind of like a yellowy beigey white it's so pretty and of course another little croc this one was 7.99 also at an antique mall i thought this one was so cute it does have its little lid it is a little chipped but i don't mind that and especially if i just turn it around you can't tell <laughs> i also love this color it's almost giving like a greenish undertone it's really really pretty i might also use this as a planter we'll see but if not just as a little decor piece i think it would look so cute and the last little stoneware piece i found these at a thrift store they're originally from hearth and hand and magnolia i'm not a hundred percent sure what they're supposed to be i think they're supposed to be those little plates where you put your tea bag after you've prepared your tea but either way i thought they would be so cute and very useful to have especially if you eat things with like sauces and stuff like i could definitely see myself like putting ketchup and stuff in here but i thought that they were so cute so i couldn't pass them up and now moving on to linens i found this gorgeous blanket with these little hearts on them and this was four dollars at a thrift store i thought it was so cute it would be so pretty for valentine's day but since it's a neutral color you can get away with using it all year long but it is such a pretty little throw blanket and for four dollars like that's such a crazy deal i also found some kitchen towels y'all know i always buy kitchen towels because you can always use them and i thought that these would be perfect for christmas so it was a little set of three they're just so pretty all like the gingham um, the stripes and the plaid and i think they were like a dollar each so they were a really good price and this one like i don't decorate for fourth of july <laughs> and i normally like very neutral things like i don't like things that are like very obvious that it's a holiday but y'all i could not pass this up <laughs> it was so cute the little dog with his little bandana mm. And it was 80 cents, so I'm like, I don't care. Even if I put it in my bathroom and only I see it, I was obsessed with it, so I had to get it. It's so cute. All right, we are almost done with the haul, so a couple of clothing pieces next. I have been shopping a little bit for my spring and summer capsule wardrobe, so I found this cute little blouse. I love these little flowy sleeves. I also got this white top, which has the little scrunched middle part and the little rouging on the edges. I thought that was so pretty. Perfect for the spring and summer. I also got some jean shorts just like a very casual fit and style i do have a really exciting vacation coming up so hopefully i'll be wearing all of these pieces i also got this long sleeve kind of like denim shirt i like the striping on it just to add a little bit of interest and i'll probably just use it as kind of like a cover-up over a t-shirt or a tank top but i love this style and then i also got this cozy cardigan it has the pockets there on the side and a little hood i thought it would be so cozy just to be in the apartment with and for my little vacation i also got this cute little purse it has a different design on the back and on the front i personally like this style more so i'll just wear it like this <laughs> it has a long strap i just wanted something kind of casual that i could wear on my vacation so i thought this would be perfect i also got two new bags these were not thrifted but i've been wanting that kind of like quilted style bag for a really long time so i 
I got this small black one. I think these would look so cool, especially with some of the summer outfits that I have. I love wearing black in the summer, which makes absolutely no sense because it's so hot, but it is what it is. And I think it would look so cool to just add a little bit of interest to my relatively plain capsule wardrobe. So I love the texture of this. And I also got a bigger one to travel with. I normally travel with my tote bag, but I wanted to have an option with a zipper so i got this one and i already traveled back with it and it was so convenient it also has these like secret side pockets on either side which i thought was so cool because i could like tuck my passport in there charger anything that i need to have like easily accessible but yeah i love this texture again it's so much fun so i'm really excited to keep using it through all of my trips the next little piece i got some prints from an art gallery so this was a little art gallery in saga tuck which is such a cute little town so i just got these that are meant to be cards but i think i'm going to cut them and put them into some of my small frames that i have i think they would look so beautiful i got this floral print for right now in the spring and summer i got this kind of snowy scene for the winter and then this really pretty one as well i think i can use this all year long but they're just so stunning and we love supporting a small business so that was really nice as well okay and the last two pieces so these are actually gifts that my sister got me so first i love paper mache and rustic looking decor so she actually made me this from paper mache she made me this little bowl with the little legs i thought it was so cool it came out so good i was pretty surprised i was like wow but i love the texture it's really like a rough texture i think i'm going to put this maybe on top of some books in my cabinet as decor but i thought it came out so good so props to my sister and then this was actually supposed to be a christmas gift i think but it just didn't arrive on time so she just gave it to me now but y'all it's a mug with Loki in it. <laughs> It's so cute. I love how they did the details with his speckled pattern. I can't believe that they got that right. And then his droopy little ears as well. They're so cute. So I'm so excited. I was telling my sister, I'm like, I'm probably never going to use it because it's so cute and I don't want it to get damaged. But I might buy like a little stand for it or something so I could have it on display. It's just so cute. But that is everything I got in Michigan. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can see how I styled some of these pieces in my home. And I will see you all very soon in another video.